My name is Yul, Yul Edoche, Nollywood actor, uh, Nollywood director, Nollywood filmmaker. I played the, the lead character, Bullion Van, so uh, <laughs> very interesting character, um, very arrogant guy. He's very rich into drugs and of course all sorts of uh, um, shady stuff and he wanted to take a particular title, a title that he felt, a title that hadn't been given to anybody in their kindred, in their kingdom uh, in a while and he felt like if he takes this title it would make him the biggest uh, person, most respected person in the kingdom. So he went all out to do everything possible to get the title which made him uh, begin to uh, have issues and fights with his good friend, a guy who used to be his, his very good friend, Capital Oil. That's basically what the character is, very arrogant, although he used to help his people uh, do a lot of philanthropy, but he was just doing that to get praises from his people, and in the end he started fighting uh, to get the Okenyi title and finally uh, destroyed the beautiful image that he had built, but that's, that's basically who the character is, very arrogant. He goes out uh, at all costs to get anything he wants. Um, uh, that's, that's basically him. Shady guy, of course, everything he does to make money is uh, dirty, dirty business. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, uh, every role I play I enjoy it. First of all, my principle, I don't, I don't accept a character that I don't like. That's my style. I don't do films for money. Of course, money will come, money always comes. But I do movies for passion, even till now. I started in 2005. Passion has been driving me till 2021. It's for me. I must love the film. I must love the role that uh, you want me to play. I read the script. I read my character. I have to fall in love with the role before I play it. That's why um, anytime I, do, I make a movie, it's a hit. It's uh, you know I thank God for that. But first thing I do is to love the role. If I don't love the character, I don't understand the character. I won't play it. So anytime you see me, that's why I do a lot of things that people love. You know, enjoy. They don't even know that while they're enjoying it, I'm actually enjoying myself more than the people who are watching and enjoying me. So I'm always having fun when I'm on set because I love every character, I, 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 every character I play. And also I try to, the characters I play, no matter how interesting in all the things I do for people to enjoy them, I make sure that when people watch the film, they learn something from that character, you know, from whatever the character does and how the character ends up. There must be something for the uh, for the audience to learn from it and, and take home. So I enjoyed playing it, every bit of it, every every frame that was taken, every frame of a picture that was taken, I enjoyed. It's a, it's a wonderful one because I noticed it's something that happens a lot in, in our country. You see, to, you see people make money and rather than use that money to help people and develop you know, their communities and uh, do the things that the government can do, they use the money to fight each other. You know, for them it's all about who is bigger and bigger than this person and the greatest person, everybody should worship me. And it's, it's a big problem. It's really a big problem. So when I read the script, uh, I loved it. I felt this is something um, we, we can use to talk to the people and enlighten the people about how things should be. You know, if God gives you money, you should use it to, uh, you know, not just for yourself, but for every people around you. Okay, 
uh, help make the world a better place. We won't be here forever, <laughs> no matter how rich and how much you're enjoying this place. Uh, uh, being here is just a passing phase. We'll come here, do our best, and then we leave, no matter how rich or established you are. So you need to touch lives. Make the world a better place. Not when you make money, it's all about, let me show this person that I have arrived. Let me show these people that I'm the greatest, I'm the biggest, everybody should worship me. It's a big problem right now in our, in our society. So I really loved it when I got this, this role. Of course, a few things were not in place as well. I made my suggestions and of course I, I made it better. So believe me, I mean, anytime you see me fall out, <laughs> once I fall out, it's going to be a, a hit. No two ways about it. I don't make little films. I don't make small films. When they have the small films, they look for other people. When they have the big films, they look for you, Leduce. <laughs> so it's going to be a massive, massive hit. Trust me, you love to watch it. Doings, doings, call me king of doings. Money, money, call me king of money. Some put down as you go rubbish, money put down for the melon. Me faking for attention, me killing my color, the money too long. You know, civil, your family, no fight for face. But if you enter inside the phone, no man walking. I don't put the pass to lie, yeah. Don't put the money in your yeah. Anywhere you go, you go say that the money go let me go. Then I also enjoyed myself driving a bullion van. I, it was the first time <laughs> they brought the van and they said someone was going to drive it. I said, no, I need to go drive my van myself. You can, can you call me bullion van? And somebody would drive the van. <laughs> so I decided to drive the van myself and it was, it was wonderful. I enjoyed, I enjoyed driving a bullion van for the first time. So I think everything was in place. Um, I mean, the, the, the owner of the, the production, Sonny Ritchie, uh, this is not the first time I'm working, I'm doing uh, his movie. And I, I would uh, love to commend him because I think he's, he came into the business and he's really doing his best to take Nollywood to another level. You know, um, I, I, I really am proud of what he's done so far and what he, I've talked with him a couple of times and I, I, he made me understand the vision that he has for Nollywood. You know, he came to take Nollywood to bigger heights. Of course, uh, the, the home video uh, part of Nollywood Yes, he's really doing so well and I love to commend him for it. So everything was in place. I, I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Of course, my name is Yul Edoche, Nollywood actor, um, Nollywood filmmaker, Nollywood director, and um, human rights activist, politician. I do a lot of things. Uh, the title of the movie will be Bullion Van. It's a great one. And I'll tell all my fans, go look out for it. And you're going to find it on Sunny Rich Nolly TV. Sonny Rich Nolly TV, that's where you're going to watch it and enjoy it. And of course, lastly, in 2023, I'll be running for President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Give the youth a chance and give us your support. Thank you very much. I love you guys. My name is Chigoze Atwai. Um, my character is a uh, capital oil. Bullion Van is a lovely movie and uh, first time I saw the script I was just um, 
just laughing, just thinking how to go about to capitalize some of the uh, uh, things. But uh, notwithstanding the fact that we have a very good director, which is a uh, single, we we're able to come up with something very, very original. Um, I'm happy for the production, the crew members, the actors, my very good friend, you. Um, is a gift-taking actor. What I mean is that when you're giving him, he receives, and the moment he gives you, uh, you, you receive at the same time. So uh, we, we, we jam it well. You know, so most people think that maybe because we're friends, that's why we're kind of uh, doing it like that. Not really. Like, um, being um, professional in the game so we know how to do it at any given time God, the word, as if you shut up as if why will we put how can you have no right to conclude a meeting in the presence of Korean power and the people the people the people It's a good one. Uh, let's watch and see. I don't really like to talk too much when it comes to production, but rather I would just like, you know, give a, an insight, a little insight of it. And then when the film comes out, you can now go and uh, watch it to see it. So, a very big thank to the executive producer of this film, Sonny Richie, on the TV. Um, he's a nice guy. And uh, he knows what he wants. I believe that's the reason why he decided to pick this set of people to come and do this project for me. And I must commend him for that. The producer, Kevin Uvo, um, I must commend you. Uh, he really, really tried. His activeness, boldness, for him to have the courage to, you know, jump into such project. I, I must say, to him. It's not easy. I must say thank you. Thank you everybody. Thank you all the crew members in this production. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the director, Joko, 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 you know, um, mention them. Ah, the plenty of... <laughs> thank you everybody. Pa, 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 pa. Uh, <laughs> the props guy, you know, the bad guy. That guy arranged some nice, nice stuff, you know. <laughs> All those money, man. Kudos to you. The makeup artist, you know, the continuity guy, everybody. You guys are good. You know, the welfare, I'm not chopping food. So I don't have to say anything about that. The making guy, the guy who's happy, uh, behind the camera, handling the camera, you know, uh, uh, that's all know her. I mean, so, good guy, good guy, good guy. You guys are good, you know. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Papa. Let's watch for this movie. The Bullion Van. Massacre. Destroy. <laughs>
is not taking that depth of strength out of me. I don't feel it. So when the story of the bullion van came, I knew it is another thing. It's another project that is actually going to demand the depth of what I know or what I felt I know about filmmaking. Because when I met uh, the billionaires for O.C. King, I thought it was actually very challenging. But when this very particular job, the bullion man, came, I saw another dimension of challenges that was actually deep. So one thing with me as a filmmaker is I suffer these challenges because at the end of the day, they are what makes the project tick. I love making films that challenge me. The story of the bullion van is uh, a deep deep African story, traditionally plotted, as in traditionally situated to be happening in a local community. Two brothers who made money and delved into traditional politics, seeking for who to be the greatest person amongst the two. Well, one thing I discovered about this story is uh, it is entertaining, it is educational, it is captivating. Educational in the sense that it is teaching us a whole lot of things we, we especially we of the southeastern Nigeria, have neglected for so long. Many of our illustrious sons do not use their wealth in the right direction. At some points, I've discovered that we have a whole lot of rich guys around us who all they do is to trade powers. At every point in time, you don't see them using their wealth to the benefit of the communities they came out from. Rather, they use it for power to show and power struggle as a showcase of supremacy. So, this is exactly part of the main thing the story of the bullion van was written. It's made it clear that it is better for us to use our wealth to impact on lives, to change people's lives, rather than using it to like thread tackles on who is superior. Every filmmaker will always want the best for himself while making a film. Even when you have the best, you still crave for more. So that's the truth. I would not say that my crew and my equipment or whatever I used in making the bullion van was not top notch, but every filmmaker will want more. So I believe I had the best I could have at the moment, and uh, I am still praying to have better ones in the nearest future as I'm making more good films. The name Sony Richie Nolly TV is becoming a very strong household name in movie entertainment and not just. Nigeria, but Africa and the world as a whole. So I will call upon my fans because I know that that name, Don Sengo Ndubisi, or Don Sengo Fames, is a name that viewers always look out for. And right now, I want to tell you that the Bullion Bar and many other of my movies will be on Sony Richie Nolete. Good day, fans. My name is Charles C. Dennis. D1 Concepts. I am a costume designer. If you had listened to me, this would not have happened. I want my daughter back. Take that lens again. Quiet, action! We are cooking a wonderful one for you people out there. Be expecting it. It's going to be a wonderful one. A story titled Bullion Farm. We are here with many artists, a lot of them, Yule Dochi, 
and we have chikozi as well. We have uh, Nollywood Finest. We have uh, Lizzie Good. We have uh, many more. We have people like Zola John. And we have a lot of crew. And when I say crew members, capable one. Same 45. Adesa, see you. Adesa, see you. Take one. And. And action. The one of this job, I won't lie to you. It has been stress throughout because people on this set is not people I joke with. It's people who are serious minded in the business. People who are ready. People who they, they, they're not just here to sit down, they're here to do the business and go out. So it has been a challenge, very serious one. There's a kind of production I love working with. The crew, they are ready. Every, anytime you call upon them, they are ready. Even before the director will say, the next scene, everybody, all hands has been on them. My name is Letisha, but just call me J-O-K-O-I-K-E. Cinematographer eyes. What to do for a living. Man, it's so hectic, you know. Having over a thousand and five persons on set and you're filming them. You know how hectic it is. Studios. Right? And you just have to bring something good to your decks. You know? You'll find it entertaining, educating, informating. And above all, man, we'll give you a thumb up. The story is about two casual guys who make money out of their businesses, you know, and uh, fighting over a title, a chieftain's title called uh, Okay. You know, okay. King is confused. He doesn't know who to give the title to, either you, the Doce, or Chigozi Atwai. That's just a story, but it's a beautiful tale. Trust me, it's a beautiful tale. You enjoy it. My name is Uchechi Ihai Njubu. I'm a makeup artist in the movie The Bullion Van. Generally, movie jobs are always stressful. But this one, although it's stressful, but the fun of it is not really making it stressful. Lovely. Lovely. Everybody is working together like a family. And that's the best thing that can happen to any movie production. So when you work together, you have a, a speed, you have the speed you want, and you have a successful project.
solution. Okay. I'm a DOP. My name is uh, Ibrahim Ali. I am the continuity supervisor of this great project, the Bullion Fund. The story is very unique and very much interesting. We have very committed and hardworking crew. Yes, ranging from the director to the production assistant, everybody is trying his possible best to see that we achieved in this project and by the special grace of God we achieved our aim. Yes, anything you are doing in life that did not challenge you, I don't think that thing is, uh, is something that is very important. So. I can't say there is no challenge. There are little challenges, but thank God we achieved the project and I'm very much happy to be part of this project. The toughest day was the day we shot uh, the Ofala Festival scene. It was a very hectic day. The run around was much. I must, uh, I must, I must say a very big thump up to the director. He did well. My friends and family and fans, please, I'm pleading all of you to watch out for Bullion Van in Sonirichi Noliti. I'm an actor and producer. I am the producer of the project Bullion Van. It's a movie about two um, very rich guys from the same community who are interested in. in very unique chieftain society called the Okay. I am not right for who may be in the presence of Kuyamba and his colleague, Ibiwe. He won't be well. He can not be well. He cannot be well. He will be well. He will be well. He will You said that I'm going to be well. You said that I'm going to be well. I'm going to be well. You just call me. Oh no. Traditional Prime Minister, um, played by Zulu Adigwe, who actually went to the city to try and convince both of these guys. The props was top notch. The props you didn't see. We say we want to fill a bullion van with money. We actually fill the bullion van with money, props money. The festival, the enable culture, the local Ofana festival, the festival was top notch. I think it's the biggest ever in the history of Nollywood. You need to see the crowd, the masquerade, the convoy, everything about the movie was top notch, the location and all that. Um, trust me, it's a movie which will teach a lot of lessons. People, lots of people are gonna learn from this one. I can't wait for it to
for it to be a bullion violence. That's the time to trust me. It's, it's one of its kind. I don't think there was anybody else that could have played that character of bullion violence other than um, you little chief. His rival, Chibazar Twain, was also top class. When I cast, I cast alongside my boss, the executive producer of the job, Mr. Sunday Honorable. And he's one man that does not cast with sentiment. That's the kind of person I am to. We suggest, we share ideas, and trust me, that's how this cast was born. And I think uh, over and over again, I'll still do this movie with the same cast. It was top notch. And the crew members were something as the props, the costume, PM, everybody were on point. Everybody right now knows the best is the truth when it comes to African movies, Nigerian movies. The best place to go to is Chinoli TV or Esnoli TV, owned by the same company. Trust me, trust me. We have the best of movies. My name is Joseph Daniels. I am the Igwe in this fantastic movie, The Bullion Farm. In fact, it's one of the best I have done. Particularly, the Ofala festival that we did yesterday. It was fantastic. Well, this is not the first time I'm playing it with. It's not different from the rest, but this is a little bit challenging because I am working with a new director who has his own style, different from other directors I've worked with for as an equal. And it also afforded me the opportunity of learning new things because it's a learning pro process. We, we learn by the day. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic as always. They have their good sides, their bad sides, but I just want to encourage all of us to be up and down so that we can finish this movie efficiently and effectively. Some 
reaching Nollywood TV on YouTube. Alright, love you. Mwah. Something good. Uh, good. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, <didn't> <laughs> Sly, <laughs> and I'm playing Akachi. She was. And what are you doing here? Did you hear what they said? What are you doing here? Sonny, Richie, Nolly TV. That's the YouTube. You need to see it there. Once you see it there, you will come back to take me. So that is the best place where you will see it. My name is Engineer Peter A.K.A. Uh, of Alpo. The Bullion Van. The movie is one of its kind. And, uh, my role in the movie is uh, Sick, the Trigger Man. Sony Richie TV is the highest. You got to see me on the Trigger Man. Bullion Van. Get, and never forget, still your guy, your father, the thick one. I did your father, I only a quarter of my My name is Zulu Ati. In this film, Bullion Van, I play the role of Unohu. Unohu is uh, turning out to be a schemer. As usual, they always call me the weekend man because of scheming. <laughs> But I'm not a schemer anyway. Um, I, I enjoyed working with the crew, especially the director and the producer. They are, they are very experienced and they know exactly what they want. And they do and they get out the best it, it was very, very uh, empowering. Now, even the rest of the Continuity. They were all very cooperative, and they, and they were very professional about what they were doing. And the story, is, of course, is a bomb. The story is a bomb. The story is about really what it, what, what is happening in our society, and you should watch it. You should watch it to understand what I'm saying. So you better watch out for this film, Bad, on Sonny Ritchie. Um, my name is Aouchen Felix Sago, aka Montelo, Montelo Asset Production. I'm the production manager of this job. Okay, you know, easy, oh, it wasn't easy, my brother. Especially that of Father Day. Hey, I was mad. I was mad. Like, I, I was even doing as if I'm the director. To say no be, to say no be Montelo, uh, who won't do this kind of job? They do have more say, they, 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 yeah, but this job, one of my biggest. I love the job. The director, very fantastic. The producer, Kevin Uvo, my prince. Hey, they're too much. You understand? They are not my good. The artist, the bullion himself, Yule Doche, the man mother the film, my brother. My guy mother the film. I was the capital oil. Chigozia Tuanya. Tao for you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. All my crew, the wonderful costumier. The makeup artist, amazing. Especially the assistant, Sonto, amazing. Then uh, my props guy, my man, Sean Israel, Sean Kistin, and the Mugu, the Mugu PA, Potter. That one stressed me, but no one. Thank God, we are done. We are done, we are done, we are done. Then makeup, uh, uh, who again, who again? My PA is wonderful. The, inter the, 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 the engine room, my PA is, they are all wonderful. My continuity person, as a defensive midfielder, very wonderful, very, very wonderful. So now, you wait for the film, for the movie, The Bomb, it's on the Richie Nolly TV. To all of us. Hi guys, my name is Rachel Owona, aka the Nollywood Finest. I am on the set of the William Fan, yes, the Sonny Richie movies.
So you watch out for this one, the William Van. Hey, I play the character of, of a wife, Stephanie. I am so, so supportive. I love my husband so much. He loves me so much. But never joke with money. Never joke with business. Never joke with traveling for business. Never joke with wanting to be on top. Like he always want to be on top. And as the wife, I am being supportive. I also want to be on top because if my husband is the head, of course, I'll be doing shakara by his side. <laughs> so the character Stephanie, it's a very, very sweet one. She's beautiful. She's intelligent, smart, bullion van, powered by Sonny Richie, um, produced by Kelvin Uvo, as directed by Don Singo in the BC. Princess, and you'll be crowned of king. <laughs> uh, the way you, you are saying it is as if it was just an easy task. I had to beat five strong men. You know, see the way I was kicking this man, brush them, and I rescued her. <laughs> and uh, look, I won't just be crowned okay. I'll be crowned the next king. <laughs> Tell me how much I'll give to you so you leave the title for me. You you mean you want to offer me money? Mm. Like money? Uh, uh, now let it not look as if I'm greedy. Just give me like five million naira so that I can start business. And the title is all yours. 